So we've got just some fun new hors d'oeuvre and appetizer recipes that you are going to love. Even a dessert hors d'oeuvre recipe that's just super fun. So sip a coffee and I'm going to get to work on recipe number one. Okay. Love, 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 you know, buffalo wings, right? Who doesn't love buffalo wings? So, but that's pretty common at a lot of parties. So I thought, how can we take, you know, those great flavors um, of wings and do something a little bit different? So why not do grilled buffalo shrimp with, of course, you've got that spicy buffalo sauce, a little bit of a blue cheese, homemade, quick, easy blue cheese dipping sauce that you can make ahead of time. And I am a huge believer, if you're having a party, as much of it as you can get done ahead of time, the better. I sometimes write out a checklist maybe a week before the party and just, you know, on Sunday, this is what I can do. On Monday, this is what I can do. Um, Tuesday, this is what I can do. And then, you know, the day of the party, that leaves you just with a few things to, to put together. So first thing I'm going to do, and this is something that you just need to do right before the party starts. Um, these shrimp are real quick cook. They're just delicious, and you want to serve these warm. The blue cheese dipping sauce that we're going to make, we can make that up to four or five days ahead of time. But we've got some nice shrimp here um, that we've peeled and we've left the tail on. You know, when you're thinking appetizer party, you want the food to be really easy to eat. You don't need to worry about silverware, right? You just want to be able to, you know, have it be finger food. One or two bites, not a lot of mess. So that's why we're going to leave the tail on the shrimp so that people can just pick it up by the tail, take a bite or two of it, and, and then be done with it. So I'm going to drizzle this shrimp with a little bit of olive oil. And we've got the real big guys, but you can certainly get the medium or the large size shrimp, just whatever's in your budget, whatever's on sale. I'm seasoning that shrimp with a little bit of salt and pepper. And we're going to be grilling this shrimp. That's why we've coated it with a little bit of oil so that we don't have any sticking issues. Okay, just want to make sure that all that shrimp is coated with a little bit of olive oil so it doesn't stick to the grill. Now, shrimp is a real quick cook. The minute it turns pink, it's done. But because these are a little bitter, they're going to take a little bit longer, maybe five minutes or so. And I just want to get these on a grill pan that we've heated up. And you can see how easy these are going to be to eat. Just be able to pick up that tail, and you're good to go. And I just buy the frozen shrimp. Normally comes in two-pound bags, and you can kind of take out what you need. We were talking about, you know, throwing an all-appetizer party, but sometimes it's even fun just to do all-appetizer night with the family for like a movie night. Just finger food. Sometimes we'll just do chicken strips, homemade chicken strips. I've got a great recipe for those in my cookbook and veggies and dip and just something fun, something different. Who doesn't love finger food? Oh yeah, Anne was saying that that's kind of fun. A lot of people do that on Christmas Eve or other holidays where it's just all finger food so that somebody doesn't have to be in the kitchen the whole time. I think that's a great idea. All right, so I'm just going to let those hang out on the grill for a little bit. And now I want to get to the wing sauce, and this couldn't be easier. This is a sauce that my grandfather made. He was known for his uh, wings used to have a deep fryer and he'd uh, deep fry outside so that the whole house wouldn't smell like, you know, deep fryer. Um, but this was his secret wing recipe sauce and it, it just couldn't get easier. One stick of butter, we're using unsalted butter, and three quarters of a cup of hot sauce. And this is just kind of the wing hot sauce and you heat the butter and that sauce together, whatever your favorite sauce is. And basically the butter kind of mellows out that hot sauce and it just really works together. So anybody can make that. One stick of butter, three quarters of a cup of your favorite hot sauce. Really quick and easy. Okay. Not quite ready to turn. So what I'm gonna do is get to work on the blue cheese sauce. And this is one of those things that's so easy to make. You can certainly buy blue cheese uh, dressing or, or a dips right at the grocery store already made for you. But you know what? There's nothing like making it yourself. It just tastes, you know, that much better. And it's just one of the easiest things ever to make. So we're starting out with three quarters of a cup 
of sour cream. And a quarter of a cup of real mayonnaise. Using the real stuff, not the sweetened salad dressing stuff. That will completely change the flavor and we don't want to do that. Okay, so I want to whisk that together, the sour cream and the mayo. I'm going to do a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Now I want to do some fresh lemon juice. And I can tell these lemons are rock hard and we just pulled them out of the refrigerator. So it's a real good idea if you want to get them to release their juices a little bit more. I do this with lemons and limes all the time. Just into the microwave for like 15 seconds and all of a sudden just warming them up just a little bit um, helps release the juices of citrus that's been ice cold in the refrigerator. It doesn't take long at all but, and what a difference it makes. You can also just kind of push down on it sometimes and that'll get the juices flowing. All right, let me get back to our shrimp. Already starting to turn pink, getting some nice color. I'm doing this, as, I, as you can see, on an indoor grill pan. You can do it on your outdoor grill. You could even saute these up in a skillet with a little bit of butter or olive oil. So all of those ways will work for you. I do think when you're having an all hors d'oeuvre or a cocktail party, you got to mix up the different hors d'oeuvres that you're going to serve. I think it's really important to do a mix of both hot and cold. And I also think it's a really good idea to have some sort of protein um, so that, you know, people don't leave your hors d'oeuvre party and are starving and hit a drive through restaurant on the way home. You don't want that to happen. So this is something that I think the guys will really appreciate, you know, something a little meaty, the ladies too. And I love the idea of serving some sort of shrimp at a, an hors d'oeuvre party, even if it's just in a dip. People love seafood, so just something a little bit special. This is looking gorgeous. Okay, let me get back to my lemon juice. So, so far we've got in here uh, basically three quarters of a cup of sour cream, quarter cup of mayo, a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm going to do some fresh lemon juice, a little bit of an acid to just kind of bring out the flavor. Now I've got some scallion. Just going to add that, basically, that nice light onion flavor. How's my sauce doing over here? Just want to check on my hot sauce, my butter, which is starting to melt. Shrimp is looking absolutely perfect. So I'm just going to get some scallion in here. Just give that light onion flavor without being too overpowering. That's why I love scallions or green onions, whatever you want to call them. Also going to do a little bit of parsley. Finally chop that up. Now it depends on how thick everything is and how thick you want your dip. You could also add a little bit of milk. You don't want it too thin though, you want it dippable. So I actually think we're good here. I'm going to just leave it as is and not add any milk. We're, of course, can't forget the blue cheese. So we've got just a nice wedge of some blue cheese. Don't skip on that. We're just going to crumble up the blue cheese dip, so we want to be able to taste the blue cheese in here. I'm just going to mix that all in there. Now this is better as it refrigerates. Uh, it really is. The flavors really come together. So definitely whip this together the morning of your party. Or as I said, this is one of those things that blue cheese dip can be done and parked in your refrigerator for up to five days before the party. Okay, I want to get to the shrimp now. So the shrimp is done perfectly. Got those great grill marks. 
and I'm just getting it into a big bowl. You'll see what I'm doing. And now I'm going to take some of this butter and that hot sauce that we've warmed together. And we want to keep it warm because we want to serve this appetizer warm. And I take some of this sauce and just coat the shrimp. Make sure it's really coated well with that butter and the hot sauce. And that's what makes the grilled shrimp now it's buffalo shrimp. And if you could just smell this, it smells delicious. Gonna have a little kick to it, and that's really what makes it fun. Okay, and a conversation piece. Like I say, it's something that appetizer that's a little bit different at your party. They really kind of wow them. All right, cleaning up my mess over here. So I've got our blue cheese dipping sauce, but again, just gets better as it sits up in the refrigerator, and all those flavors really come together. And I think that's the case for most dips. You can make them at least a few hours ahead. Magic really does happen in the refrigerator for a lot of recipes. And for this dip, for sure. This is a real chunky, you know, easy to just dip your shrimp right in here kind of recipe. Garnish it with maybe a little bit of parsley if we want, or, or scallion. over to the side and now I want to take my shrimp and just spread it around on my plate. The big thing when it comes to entertaining all the caterers do it and you can get these plain white platters anywhere is white space is what they call. So basically you don't want to overfill your platter. You can just keep bringing this out as people eat it and bring some more out. But these square or rectangular or you know, round, everything's all about white space. That's kind of the key word these days when it comes to entertaining. It just looks so pretty. So you can, it really shows the food is, I guess, what it's all about. So you can really see it. All right. Now, I'd love to serve this with, you know, just like you would serve chicken wings with something cool because it's so hot. I mean, they're not super hot, but you know, those, wing, those shrimp have a little bit of kick to them. So it's really nice to serve your wings, or in this case, the buffalo shrimp, with some cool, crisp celery, which also can be dipped into that blue cheese dip. So just got some hearts of celery here, the best of the best, and just slicing it into stalks so that it can be easy finger food. and people can just dip away. And again, your celery can be all chopped ahead of time. And just lay some of that celery around maybe on uh, both sides by the shrimp and people can have at it. How good does that look? It's my grilled buffalo shrimp with blue cheese dipping sauce.